Yo guys, it's Mr. Exploit, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the banning API for Roblox. Now, I just want to say before you go ahead and comment or start thinking that this is a way to get unbanned from a game, no, this will not get you unbanned. This will simply allow you to rejoin the same game on an alt account without being instantly banned. I see a lot of people getting confused by this. They think that bypassing the banning API, you can get yourself unbanned. That is not true. So let me show you guys an example. This is Fallen Survival. This game costs 200 Robux and it's a game that uses the banning API. Now, when you get banned from a game with the banning API, the whole idea of the API is you can't join on an alt account. So if I try and join on an alt account right now without doing anything, it will instantly ban me again. So I will waste 200 Robux, get banned, go on another alt account, buy the game again, join again, and I'll just keep getting banned. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to rejoin this game without getting banned. No, this will not unban you. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but no, this will not unban you. It's impossible to get unbanned from the banning API, but it is possible to bypass your way around it so you can rejoin on an alt account and keep exploiting. So you can see that I'm banned right now. I've been banned by the moderators. And if I try and join the game on an alt account, I am going to be instantly banned. So the first thing you want to do to buy past the banning API is to head over to here and delete your cookies. So go to cookies, manage site data, and you just want to delete everything, click refresh, and it should log you out and reset everything. The second thing you want to do is you want to head over to your search bar. You want to go to local app data percent. So type exactly what I just typed in percent local app data percent, press enter, and it's going to take you over to this folder right here. And inside this folder, you need to find your Roblox folder. Now, I do use Blockstrap. I don't have Blockstrap currently installed right now, but if you have a Blockstrap folder, you need to delete it. And if you have a Roblox folder, you will need to delete that as well. So if you have both Roblox and Blockstrap, delete both of those folders. I've just got Roblox, so I'm going to delete the Roblox folder. Okay, so now you've deleted Roblox. This is where you will need to click the link in the description and head over to this website right here. So this is the Technitium MAC address changer. No, this is not a hardware ID spoofer. And no, banning API does not use your IP address. There's so many people out there that are completely clueless. They have no idea what they're doing. Banning API does not ban IP address and it does not ban hardware ID address. It currently only bans your MAC address and any associated cookies on that account. So this is why we clear our cookies and this is why we delete our Roblox files. So you need to download the TMAC spoofer. It's completely free to use. It's completely safe to use. It works fine. There's also an alternative tool as well that's open source. If you guys don't trust Technitium MAC address changer, there's a tool that was made by a guy called Center Epic. Also goes by the name of Sasha. He's been in the Roblox exploit community for a while. And I will also put the link in the description if you guys want to check out his GitHub link for the open source version of this. But anyways, I prefer to use Technitium MAC address changer. So I'm just going to download TMAC and once it's downloaded so drag it to your desktop you want to extract this folder you can extract just click extract here i'm using winrar but you shouldn't need winrar to extract you should be able to just do this just click extract all after right clicking and you will get this folder once you've got this folder just load it up and launch the tmac setup it's very simple to do okay so we've installed tmac we're going to launch the application up now it's completely fine to go we're good to go Okay, so we're going to launch TMAC up right now. We now have TMAC launched and if it asks you for this, if it says the preset file is not currently associated, just click yes. It doesn't matter if you click yes or no, but just click yes on that one. So here we go. So this is where you spoof your MAC address. Make sure you have Ethernet selected or if you're using Wi-Fi, then make sure you have the Wi-Fi selected. Whichever one is up and operational, that is the one you need to spoof. So you can see right here, it's Ethernet kernel debugger. We don't really care about this one. We don't have to spoof that one. But Ethernet, we do have to spoof this this one so you can keep them all selected you don't have to spoof every single one but i'm just going to spoof every single one for the sake of this so click on random mac address click change now and what it's going to do is it's going to change your mac address so it may disconnect you from the internet shortly depending on how long it takes but it's as simple as that we now have changed our mac address so this means we can go back to roblox we can log into a alt account and we should be able to join fallen survival now so i'm going to log into my alt account and i'll see you guys when i've signed into my alt account all right, so I've signed into my alt account right now and you can see we've got Fallen Survival. It costs 200 Robux. I'm going to purchase it 
And like I said, if you don't bypass the banning API, if I launch this game, I will get instantly banned. If you bypass the banning API, you will be able to play the game again. So I'm gonna launch into the game right now. Fingers crossed everything's fine. I mean, it should be okay. We've uninstalled Roblox. So we will have to reinstall Roblox again and we are on a spoofed Mac address. I am on the same IP address, like I said. It doesn't IP ban. The banning API has nothing to do with IP address or hardware ID. So you don't need to use a hardware ID spoofer and you don't need to change your IP address. You just need to spoof your MAC address, delete cookies and delete the files. So we're loading into the game. You can see we've not been banned. We're able to play Fallen Survival. So I can inject Matrix Hub or whatever I'm using. So let's just use Matrix Hub because it's quick and easy to use. If you want to buy Matrix Hub, it's really good. I highly recommend this external. It's $6.99 lifetime. You can purchase it from rsweird.store and it does support fallen survival so i'm just going to load into a random game right now just to show you guys that this does indeed work and there's no problems at all so let's spawn into this server right now let's open up matrix again let's turn on esp for players esp for npcs so yeah matrix hub's pretty good for those of you that are looking for something that won't necessarily get you banned instantly matrix hub hasn't had a single ban wave in over almost two years now so it's pretty impressive and let's just do this again so you can see we've got item esp works pretty fine like everything works great and yeah let's just put the snap line on just so you guys can see we are playing fallen survival after being banned through the banning api like i said guys you can't get unbanned from the game but you can allow yourself to replay the game without having to waste robux again so you can exploit get banned and it doesn't matter if you get banned anymore because now you know how to bypass so if you have any questions if you get stuck at any point in time or you need me to do this for you, I'll be more than happy to do that. Just join my Discord server below and I'll be happy to help you guys out. So that's about it from me. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications. And that's about it from me, guys. Like I said, for now, the banning API is very easy to bypass. If it ever changes, then I will make a video talking about it and I will do an updated guide. But until then, it's very, very simple. So that's about it from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy exploiting. Peace.